Hey YouTube, uh, welcome to my office. Um, I'm going to be doing um, part of my layout update in here. Um, working on a couple things, uh, mostly to do with wiring and power. Um, so I've been working on this. Obviously it's an old PC power supply ripped out of an old uh, computer family member was thrown out so it was free. And uh, watching a couple other YouTube videos, I decided to uh, to do this because it made sense. So I'll just explain what I did here really quick and as easy to understand as I can do it. So um, this is an older one. I don't know if the newer ones are different, but um, you'll see like all the wires coming out the back here, all kinds of different colors. I'll explain what the colors are. Um, and what I used them for and what I didn't use. So yeah, so black here is obviously ground, so anything you connect, the ground just goes into any one of these. This one here is 12 volt. These two here are doubled up. This one is a single wire coming in. This one here is 5 volt. It's more like 5.5. Um, it sits around. I got um, two of these coming in doubled up, and this is 3.3-ish three, 3 volts, uh, just a single coming here. And this green wire you see coming out, and this is a ground wire, come here and they're just going to loop back together again. Um, if you don't do this, this will not turn on. Um, this is pretty much the wire that's uh, inside, you know, if it would be in your desktop when you push the power button on the front it would send the signal to this to turn this on and complete the circuit. And then this blue wire and this black one, this is another 12 volt line and I have a leading out and it just fell off the table here. Okay. And it's just connected to this small little bulb here um, that goes into a red indicator light I'm um, in the panel I have screwed in. So yeah, and then uh, there's some wires back here. There's a purple one, there's a gray one, and there's a white one. Not 100% what they do, I don't need them. And then I also have a couple um, 3 volt and 5 volt lines. They just come in and they just get uh, sit down there. Um, and then over here you'll notice I have all this wire coiled up. Um, the reason I just didn't cut this inside and just put it in is I was going to run a switch off of this. So you throw like the toggle switch and then that um, completes the circuit and then it'll turn this on. But the problem I was having is I'd turn it on once, it'd all come on, it'll work fine. I'd switch it off and switch it back on again and it would do nothing. So I'd switch it off and then turn it back on and then the second time it would come on. I don't know if that's just the setting or something in here, but I mean, it's not a big deal, but it bugged me. So I opened this up again and just put this one on. You'll notice I got those two white wires coming out of one's out of a little hole that was here. And this is just a little piece of the metal I just bent back, a piece of heat shield just to keep it from rubbing. Um, it goes inside. Um, I took a picture before I sealed it back up so you'll be able to see it. Anyways, the power comes in from the plug. Um, there's a blue wire inside. Comes down to the switch, and then comes back out. And the blue wire continues somewhere over here and completes the circuit. So what I did after this switch is I cut the wire, um, and then I just put the ends on this so it comes up to this toggle switch here. And then I turn it off and on, and then that's the power for the thing, and then I don't have any issues. Um, so basically what I'm going to use this for is, you know, I need 12 volt accessories. I have a few 5 volt. Um, this would probably be good for standalone LEDs. Um, yeah. I was originally not going to use this. I had it put away, but I was just, I thought it would be too daunting for me to... Um, to get this to work right, but after watching a few videos, and um, it uh, became pretty easy. So if 
If you guys have any questions, I'd be more than happy to try and answer them. Um, yeah, this this all works, and then just uh, needed it up because uh, I was originally going to use just like plugs. You know, I had um, I was going to order some like three volt, five volt, nine volt, and twelve volt plugs and just use that to this, but I'm just like that's a lot of. Um, you know, cables and plugs and stuff, so, and more than likely this will put out more amps and power than a few of those plugs, so hoping this is going to work, so one of the things I'm definitely going to do is I'm going to run my overhead lights on the shelf off of this, because um, I'm going to use the 9, the uh, 12 volt adapter I have for another project, so it won't go to waste. So I'm going to go ahead and install this under the layout. This is just wood, some brackets. It's just going to screw right underneath the layout. And then I'm going to, I'm going to reconnect all the wires where they need to go. And then I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so we're underneath the layout. There's where I got my power bar plugged in. The uh, white and black wires you see there are the um, wires coming off the uh, LEDs under, mounted under the shelf. And here's the power supply mounted under. I had to put it on a bit of an angle because I forgot that I needed room to use a screwdriver underneath. And here's what the back of the control panel looks like. Here's what the front looks like. As you see, it's a little different. I've got some light switches there. I just thought they'd look better. And once I get my actual fascia up, it'll look good. So I'll just I flick this toggle switch. LED indicator comes on. And I can flick on the LED lights. It all works. The switch is just for track power. Too fancy about it, but uh, once it's all put together, it should look pretty good. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. See you later.